Well, many of us might describe our homes as a pigsty. I know I do after my two-year-old rips the place <laughs> to shreds. But the man you're about to meet from Melbourne actually lives in a real-life pigsty. Yeah, Jeremy Khan joins us now. Let's get a look. There he is. <laughs> Just taking it very <laughs> easy. Jeremy. Very relaxed. Now, how literal do we take this that you're living in a pigsty? Well, I'm living with pigs more than I'm living like a pig. My, I got Bubble down here having a little feed in the dining room. I'm next door in my quarters right here in a tent because I have to have a tent over my head because otherwise it get rained on. As you look up there, there's no roof. Bubble and Squeak on the other hand in their bedroom have got a roof, so they're living very well. Bubble and Squeak. Very nice. Some say I've become a pig. That's surprisingly <laughs> What have you got on your nose there? <laughs> No, no, no. Let's oh, get serious. Yeah. It's just special effects. It's special <laughs> effects. Mate, you are going mad already. <laughs> How no, um, I've, got, I've, I've all, all gone moral sane. I feel like I've found my mind. <laughs> How long have you been living there with, uh, with Bubble and Squeak in those conditions? I've been a month on and off here. Um, I've been, I'm a more of a free-range pig, so I, I stay here like about 50% of my time. Then when I need a bit of sanity, I go back to my apartment in the city. OK, now let's just back things up here. What are you doing this for? Um, I'm doing it mainly to throw myself out of my comfort zone and find a deeper sense of connection with all living life. Pigs, for example, get a terrible reputation and I want to give them a bit more of a better one. These are very fancy pigs. They eat organic vegetables and freshly baked bread. <clears throat> do, do you, don't the noises keep you up? Um, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how loud Bubble is at snorting. Literally, I'm two doors down from their bedroom. But you might be They're keeping them up. The ground shakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. My girlfriend stayed over one night. Oh, but oh, hang on a second. Oh, one. Hang yeah. on a second. You've got a girlfriend and she stayed with oh, yeah, you. Yeah, she's lovely. She, she likes it. She likes it, right. And just, just the no, one night was, she yeah. stayed then out of the whole month? Yeah, just... The, yeah, yeah, All she right. likes it. So she, yeah. did she find uh, there are a few challenges? What was her uh, feedback on the experience? <laughs> um, mainly the dirt and the um, smell. Like they, they do poo in the corner. They do poo away from us, but <laughs> the oh, smell is probably nice. more linked with me. So, well, so what, um, I, do, you, do you eat with the pigs and drink with the <laughs> pigs? Do you do things together? Yeah, like I, no, I can bring them over. No bubble, right. squeak, food. There we go. I might, get in, I might like, have to get in there. Watch. Do you feel like, Jeremy, you're sort of, you, your, your expectations or your, your hygiene or your oh. sort of, you started up here and then over the what month you've kind of come down to, to really fit in with Bubble and Squeak? Yeah, well, like, I've become quite like, like you can talk to them. I've definitely been talking to them. Right. Sure. And they, um, they, commu they legit communicate with you. Like, they respond to different mm. noises you make. Like, if I made a, like, a calm, like, sacred sound, like, um... They like calm themselves, and if I'm a bit frantic and like, yeah. <coughs> wow, mate, I think they're it might be trouble. time to get out of there. Yeah, now Jeremy, there no, are some no, people. No, no. There this are is some unifying people. our world. The, the, sorry to interrupt you, but there are some people out there who may think <laughs> that your cheese has slipped well and truly off your cracker. Mm. But I find you the right yeah. kind of wacky, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> You'd give it a crack, would you, Pete? You know they're the fastest oh animal. No, don't try to. What are you they're the fastest crying? animal off a start in the world. I, my cameraman I, Kane I, just told me. I'm not sure that you are correct about mm. that. <clears throat> no, off, off a get-go, like they'll bolt real quickly. So, it wasn't bread in my throat. Really hard to speak. What has been the most rewarding uh, moment mm -hmm. or, or thing to come out of this experience? Would you say? Apart from your yeah, obvious absolutely. connection, yeah. um, bubble well, and probably bubble just and like a, a deeper sense of connection with all life. They're just life. I'm life. Mm. Yeah. Just sitting mm. in a mud sty, hanging out in mud. Why not? Like it's not that bad. Right. Well, it's not well, that what bad. What's he going to do it for? I, I, I tell you what. This is the it's greatest piece of television that I have ever seen. <laughs> this is terrific stuff, Jeremy. It's been great having Heaven. you. You've definitely Heaven. given us a great laugh this morning. We'll leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what. Oh, wow. oh like as a pig in mud, hey? It's you, better. You are just the right kind of wacky. Happy. Good on you, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> we need people like that. Wow. Keeping it real. What was that? Yeah, I don't one know with what nature. else is going to happen out there today. Mm.